Maven. Uh, oh, oui. Girl, I have a question to ask you today. Will you marry me even though I met you today? And she said, you don't even know my father. Oh, the mommy rara. You don't know my mother. I'm coming in shire. Can you pay my red prices just a million dollars? Choose, 
girl, I'll shoot for you Ain't gonna kill, baby, just a bullet wound Pretty about you last night, you came my way uh. Yeah, I'm on my bad lion If you buy infinity, would you buy for me, yo? Oh? When I make captivity, would you come for me, yo? Oh? Step into the light and let me see your face See your face For the gift of today. Thank you. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the gift of this family, uh, the Adams family. And Lord, we have gathered here today to thank you, to rejoice with them. We ask you, Lord, to continue to shower your blessings on them. Do for them all that they cannot do for themselves. Bless them as they have moved into this new house. May it be a bigger blessing for them, Amen. for their future, Amen. for the children, <laughs> so that in everything they do in life, it may be for the greater glory of your holy name. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to bless also the food we are about to eat. Bless all the people that have helped to prepare the food. May we eat and rejoice in your glory. All this we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, Amen. 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 Thank you, man. Thank you. God bless you, man. Yeah, we all can have our food now, and again, if you want drinks, we'll be serving the drinks also. Thank you. Mrs. Adams celebrate her birthday party. We are going to start the program in the next. I know some of you are still eating, but please, if you all can come in and come in closer here. This is, uh, we're all family here. We want to make sure we all get together uh, to get this body. So, uh, as much as possible, we'll be very brief with the uh, uh, the program so that we guys can go back to whatever you guys are doing. But it's very important for us to start with a very good group and then to put God here and to. We are here to help us celebrate our birthday party and the rest of all the we should celebrate very many more. Yeah. Thank you.
thank you all for coming. I'm going to hand this over right now to Ra Liu, who is going to conduct the programs. He's going to be um, as the spirit director. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Um, if we don't mind, just find the place, uh, find the seat. Uh, it's not a two minutes or five minutes of program. So uh, those of us who are uh, standing, uh, if, you be, if you can find a place to sit. Um, I believe we all know the reason why we are here. Actually, it's a double celebration, a two-fold celebration. And uh, both of them are very, very desirable. Well, we want to thank uh, the Vice President of the Home, the Chair Lady of the Home, the one and honorable Taiwo Adams, we have come to celebrate this milestone with her. And uh, also, too, we want to dedicate this uh, beautiful edifice. It's really beautiful. I wish I came early and I've had a tour of, uh, of the place because it looks uh, like a 22 room bedroom uh, house. <laughs> so we have come to celebrate with them. And uh, to start with, I just want us to. Can we even. Sing one or two choruses before yes. because we ought to give thanks to God. Yes. So, if you don't mind, uh, if we just sit, if we can stand up and uh, do a little bit of shaking up. And uh, if I. Where is my worship leader? Right and, uh, no, 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 I am going to depose you. I'm going to get somebody else to do it for this evening. Where are you? Yes, this is Aliu. Can you give us a... Uh... <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, you want to... Oh, she, oh, Jesus. Oh, Maria. Oh, she, oh, Jesus. Oh, I 
you have the pre-teen age. That is the age before you became a teenager. At that time, you didn't know anything. You were ignorant. You have no understanding. You were just controlled. You just do what you were asked to do. That is one sector of life. Another one is the age of teenage, teenager, teenager. That is one of the most dangerous uh, periods. That is when you are, you know, the stubbornness in you, the, uh, the ugliness and uh, everything manifests. You are daring, you are adventurous. I mean, you, you just want to, I mean, you, you see life and you don't understand what life means. And you go through that and then you become a young adult. That is when you begin to settle down. That is when you begin to ask yourself, I think I need to get a husband. I think I need a wife. I think I need a good uh, job. I think I need this and I need that. That's when you begin to settle down in life. And then after that comes the adult who life starts making meaning. And that stage is where we are now. That is when you start to give meaning to life. That is when your life begins to make sense to you. That is when you begin to ask reasonable questions and you begin to get direction. And so if we look at life as a book, the, chapter, the chapters in the 40s is when you begin, life begins to make sense. And if you look at it as a journey, when you turn 40 is when you begin to get a sense of direction. And so, 40 is a very, 40 years is a very, is a milestone. It's a very, very important stage of one's life. So now that you have turned 40, you are in your early years of old age. <laughs> Well, some may say this is a clever way of saying you are getting old. But that is true. So now that you have turned 40, you are in the early years of your old age. Life at 40 is good. I can tell you that. Because some of us have gone through that. Because you are starting a new and exciting phase of your life. Now, let me just share some unique things about the new life you have just started. Uh, some of them may look funny, but they are true. Now, when you turn 40, 40 is the age when you start to forget, when you start forgetting or mixing all people's names and events. You know, when you see, you have two children, right? Two, three, okay. Okay. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. So when you turn forty, you know the way. One of the ways you know is when you start calling. You want to call your first son, and uh, your second son is standing right by you, and you are calling the first one. And you are not getting the response. Are you, are you there? And they say, I am not. What's the names? What are the names of your children? Mutayo. Eh? Mutayo. 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 Okay. You when you start calling the first one rather than the second one, then you know that truly you have arrived. You have got you to the age of 40. That is one of the first signs you know. Number two. The age, that is 40 is the age when you need reading glasses or a stronger lens for your sight. You know, when you start reading and then you are putting the books like this and you are making and you are turning it around and say, this light is not bright. No, it is not the light. It is the age. So, 40 is the time when you start needing glasses. Number three, 40 is the age when you start noticing some gray hair on your eyebrow, and size and uh, your hair starts to recede. When you look at the mirror, don't plug them up. Because if you plug one, five will come out tomorrow. So 40 is the age when you look at the mirror, and you say, this was not here six months ago. 
This place was not white like this two weeks ago. That is the age where you start noticing those things have to come out. 40 is the age when you start to misplace your keys and phone and glasses and bags. You come back from work or you are going to work. You don't know where the key is, the key of the car. You don't know where you put the phone. You can't find your bag. That is telling you that you are now getting, I didn't say that. Why like this two weeks ago? That is the age where you start noticing those things start to come out. 40 is the age when you start to misplace your keys and phone and glasses and bags. You come back from work or you are going to work. You don't know where the key is, the key of the car. You don't know where you put the phone. You can't find your bag. That is telling you that you are now getting... I didn't say that. <laughs> so, 40 is the age when you start groaning, when you sit, when you bend down, or when you want to stand up. You know, when you want to stand up and you need help, somebody to pull your hand to stand up from the couch or from the sofa, then you know that you have arrived at that age. You know, because I told you, a, a 40 is your, it's like your teenage old years. So when you need, when you bend down and then it's so difficult to stand up, or when you sit down and before you sit you make, mm, you know that you have arrived at that age. 40 is the age when you show a tendency to tell a story to the same person three or four times. You don't remember you said it before. And then the person said, you told me this last week. You said it again too. This is the third time you have said, oh, I told you before. When you start repeating stories and repeating it and telling the same person the same story, then you know that you have arrived at that age. Now, let's now talk seriously. At 40, you start praying for maturity. 40 is a good, it's a, it's a, it's a very important age. Because after the, after, once you reach the age of maturity and wisdom, people will no longer excuse you. Some of the mistakes you got away with in the past, people will not excuse you again because now you are no longer like a teenager, you are no longer like the young adult, now you have reached an important milestone. People will want to tap from your wisdom. People will want to tap from your experience. People will want people because they believe now if they have problems, maybe marital problems, or problems with their children, or problems because you have reached an age where they believe that you have some experience, you have some wisdom, and you should match your age with your wisdom with wisdom number two people see you as mature and like i said they want to tap from your wisdom and from your experience everyone grows older year by year but only a few make the best of it my prayer is that you will make the best this period because it's a new phase that you speak that you are starting it's a new phase that you have begun so uh, i will pray that god will give you the wisdom let's look at quickly i'll just quickly look at a verse in the bible in some uh, i'll just read some 92 just very briefly, I'm not going to preach. In verse 12, it says, sorry, verse 90, chapter, uh, uh, Psalm 90, verse 12. It says, so teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. 
Teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. What does it mean to number our days? It is not the ability to count how many days we have lived or to predict how many more we have left. To number our days means to realize the brevity of life. I hope you are taking note to know, to realize that this life we are living in is very, very short, very, very brief. See how fast 40 years have gone. Some of us came here maybe 10 years ago, and uh, or 20 years ago. And if you look back, it was like yesterday. You know, 20 years have just, just like that, it has gone. And that is how life is. So when the Bible says, teach us to number our days, what it is saying is that, make us to realize that life is very, very brief. Very brief. Life at its best is very, very brief. Today we are celebrating 40, year, 40 years of your life. Before you know it, we'll be talking about another 10 years, another 20 years, another 40 years. It goes like that, like a weaver's shuttle. Just like that. Number two, to number our days means to seize each day and live it to the best. Make use of the short time we have. You see, people get so busy, so occupied with things that don't matter in this life. They spend time, they waste time on this, on their quarrels, on their fighting, on, uh, uh, on things that don't really matter. Things that we should just overlook. Things that we should just, don't allow those petty, petty things to take your time. Spend your time usefully. Spend your sad time to please God, to, in the service of God, to please God and to do uh, good, good to humanity. Spend your time to make a difference in this world. That is what it means to number our days. To realize that we are passing through this world only once. And the opportunities that you have may never come again. There are people that you have opportunity to minister or to do good to. You don't do it, you may never get that opportunity again. So, to number our days is to make sure that we seize and we use every opportunity we have to the best. And as you start this journey, my prayer for you is that God himself, the Spirit of God, will help you to understand what it means to number our days so that we can apply our hearts to wisdom. Now, i also like to congratulate you both on your new home. Because putting up a building like this, I don't know if, I have, if this is the best house I've seen uh, since I came to America. Because this everything looks so beautiful. Everything looks so organized. Everything looks so so nice. And everything is big, big, big. I see the big screen. I see the big table. This, I've never seen a is this an island? What do you call it? I've never seen one like this. You see? Thank you. That's a good name. You see, everything is the Lord has really blessed you. The Lord has really been good to you. And uh, for you to have only a home like this is one of the best feelings a family can have, especially if the house is big and well furnished the way this one is. So I want to congratulate you. It is a dream come true and should not be taken for granted. Remember, it's not your sweat. It's not your cleverness. There are people who have spent double the time you came to America here. Some of them can't even boast of, a, of an apartment. There are people who are living in the streets. So if God has done this for you, I don't need to tell you that you need to give your time to God, to really show appreciation for what God has done. My prayer is that in this home, there will, you, will know, you will know no tears. Amen. There will be, you know, the Lord, will, the Lord who has provided this home for you will help you to keep it. Amen. You will find joy and happiness and peace in this home. 
your children will grow up, you will have money to trade them, you will not default in your payment. Amen. God who has provided this home for you will help you to keep it. Amen. And uh, for those of us who are also to expecting the blessings like this, I pray that God will provide. Amen. So with this said, I uh, want to pray. We want to pray for the celebrant and also to for the family and for to also to dedicate this uh, place to the Lord. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, can we stand up one more time? <laughs> Our Father and our God, we want to thank you, Lord, for this time. This is a good time. This is a wonderful time. This is a time of rejoicing. This is a time of uh, giving glory to you for what you have done. Father, first, we want to thank you, Lord, for our sister, who you have preserved, who you have uh, honored today as you celebrate this time. Father, we want to thank you very much, Lord, for giving us the opportunity to spend time to thank you for the 40 years of our life. Father, like we have told her, Lord, this is the beginning of a new phase of our life. And Lord, you have kept her and have directed her up to this time. I know you will be there to direct her for the rest of her life. Amen. Father, we want to commit her into your hands at this time, we Lord. Father, because this is the time when life starts to make sense. This is the time when she starts to look at life differently, with a matured eye, with a mind, with a, with, with, with a mind of wisdom. Father, this is the time when she needs to when she starts to take things seriously. Father, we commit her into your hands, O Lord. We pray, O Lord God, that Father, you will keep her in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, our prayer and our wish for her, O Lord God, is that she will celebrate more and more years in this home and in the other homes that we may provide for her for them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we pray, O Lord God, that she will spend the rest of her life in peace Amen. and in the, to the glory of your name in the name of Jesus. Amen. That we pray for the husband, we pray for the children also too, that you have given to her as support. But we pray, oh Lord God, that they will, you will, they will use them, Lord, to be a support and a pillar for her in the name of Jesus. Amen. That, Lord, we will not hear that, Father, every year, Lord, we will remember this time and that we will always wish her good in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we also thank you for this food that you have provided for them. Father, we thank you, Lord, because it's such a beautiful place. Thank you very much, Lord, because you do your thing so in a wonderful way. Father, this is a home. I pray it will be a home in Jesus' name. Amen. Not just a building, not just a house. That, Lord, it will be a home, a place of refuge. A place, Lord, that, is, that will shed, uh, shelter them from the storms of life in the name of Jesus. Amen. And in this world, I pray they will find peace. Amen. They will find joy. Amen. They will find happiness. Amen. And Lord, I pray. Because the Bible says, except the Lord builds the home. It's the Lord that builds the home. If we labor, there are people who have labored and labored and labored. And yet, they have not been able to put a stone upon another. But Father, for giving them this home, I pray that you who have provided it, you will help them to keep it in the name of Jesus. Amen. That they will never miss a payment on this home in Jesus' name. Amen. That this home will never be foreclosed in the name of Amen. Jesus. And pray, no oh Lord, and we want to sanctify every area of this home into your hands. We want to commit them into your hands. We pray, oh Lord God, Father, we dedicate the bedrooms into your hands, oh Lord. Amen. That when they sleep there, their sleep will be sweet. Amen. They will find sweet sleep, oh Lord. Amen. They will find rest in their bedrooms in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we pray, oh Lord God, we commit the city areas into your hands, oh Lord. That people who come, as they come and they go and that they sit down to take a rest or to... Father, I pray, oh Lord God, that it will be a place of refuge, a place where they can find true peace and rest in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we dedicate the kitchen area into your hands, oh Lord. 
Father, we pray that every food that will be cooked in this place, Lord, will be a nourishment to the bodies in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray, Lord God, that there will never be any accident, any incident, Father, of burnt or uh, hot water or hot oil. Father, we pray, Lord, we decree that, Lord, everyone that will walk in the kitchen, oh Lord God, you will protect them with, with you know, you will protect them in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray also to Lord, we commit the whole area and the neighborhood into your hands, oh Lord. Father, I pray, oh Lord God, they move from somewhere to this place. I pray, oh Lord God, that you will surround them with good neighbors in the name of Jesus. Amen. Neighbors who will be cooperative, neighbors who will be willing to help, neighbors who will be friendly. I pray, oh Lord God, that you put your angels around and you use it to surround them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, all the, all the places, all the four walls of this neighborhood, that there will be peace. Amen. Father, we pray that there will be no incident of EMS or fire or fire truck or people parading this area in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we just want to thank you. And we want to commit people who are looking up to you for blessings like this. People and pray, oh Lord God, that what you have done for the Adams, Lord, you do for them too in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we want to thank you. We want to commit the rest of the program into your hands, O oh Lord. We ask, O oh Lord God, that you will guide us in everything that we do. So that at the end of it all, we will look back and we will glorify your name. Amen. Thank you because we know that you have answered. Amen. Because we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much, Brad. Thank you so much, everybody. If you all can have your seat. Um, we want to continue the program right now. We want to do this, like I said, as quickly as possible because we know we have people out there that are wanting to come in at the time. We want to make sure that we take care of everybody. I, uh, if you all would please, 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 can I, yeah, I have your attention? It's important that we do this. And so that we can make sure the program is complete before we start to be uh, very, very and all the dancing. But I want three people, please. Anybody that wants to say one or two words about Thai, I'm asking for three volunteers. I'm not going to give you more than a minute and a half. Because again, we want to keep this going. Because there are still some adjustments that we have to make. So that uh, we can continue the rest of the program. Anybody who wants to say something about the celebration? Volunteers? Okay, if you say something about your mom. Give her a round of
put your life in, you put your hand in. I pray for prosperity. May God be with you and your family. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you all so much. Like I said, we want to do it real quickly because there were about 500 men out there and they are all very hungry. And I don't want them charging in to come and get the food. So we want to be sure we get the program uh, quickly when you see that. It's called Clap Offering in God. Clap for happiness. Very terrible aspect that I would never imagine. But I really thank God that I could remain to 40 years today. God, I thank you. And I thank everybody for being here today. Thank you. Thank you for my family, Javi. I love you so much. Thank you for everything that you have done. Thank you. Now we we'll proceed to the department of the case. Now we we'll proceed to the department of the case. Welcome to the beautiful set of the little queens and to their blessed family. Her twin, with blessed memory, and her were the youngest of the 15 children already gifted to this glorious family. I'm Taro Kolabi. My sister is going to have a party today. And I wish her a happy party. I know her very well. I can tell her a lot about her, but I don't know if she's going to go for too She's a very kind person, very generous, and she has a very wonderful family. So I was on this great show. So today, celebrating for the end of the day. I wish you a happy birthday. And the happy returns. You didn't long. So, anyway, so that's my sister. She's my sister, very, very loving sister. I love her. Since hard work and diligence are the core values and legacy of this project family. And as the popular Yoruba ethnic group often says that, that is, work is the antidote to poverty. This noble woman commenced the educational surgeon with a lot of expectations. She attended St. Luke's Primary School and later completed her secondary school education at Comprehensive High School in Bethlehem, where she graduated with flying colors. She then proceeded to the Lagos State Court where she also completed the honors in the year 2005. Since the Lord God says it is not good for a man or woman to be alone, this amiable woman sought to find the love of her life. And as a good Lord lives, not only did she find a soul, but also got married to Mr. Abisoy Adams on the 26th of November 2005, the same year she graduated from the higher institution. Indeed, the Lord Jesus Christ is good to me, she said. As a go-getter, she followed her studies in the United States of America, where she relocated with her husband and son on the 26th of May 2005. On the 25th of May 2015, she graduated as a cosmetologist to the glory of the Lord. A precious wife that you are, you are genuine and unique, brilliant with beauty, but I'm not sure of what you are. Only a few can decipher what's really inside. For truth be told, not many can find a rare gem like you. She is blessed with three wonderful children. <laughs> So, as you probably already know, um, and I'm your son. I wanted 
to I'm your son, the firstborn of this family, and I wanted to wish you a happy 40th birthday. What I can say about you is you're caring, you're loving, you're really kind to everybody, you're a loyal person, and all, and all that stuff. I can't even explain how I feel about you. So, um, I wish you long life and prosperity. Bellumi. Adams. Hi, mommy. This is Plumi. I'm a second born out of three kids. We're here to celebrate your 40th birthday. And to me, you're very kind. You're positive and loyal to everyone. And you're respectful. And I just love that about you. And I want to wish you a long life. Happy birthday. Love you. And Tommy Wa Adebola Adams. Hi mommy, this is Tamiwa. Happy birthday. I love you. Like day I can see the mother of the country. We see in the virtual life like you. Truly your virtue and beauty are inside and outside for all to be all. Who is this wife like no other? She is none other than Mrs. Tyler. Happy birthday, Mom. Happy birthday, Gentle, kind hearted, very generous, and love of children. Mrs. Skywalker, Akola Shadi Adams, virtue, kindness, and love by a way of being. And in everyone, some good you see. Therefore, happiness and peace of mind will forever go with you. And your home, through Christ Jesus. Amen. Just like the word of God that says, He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from God. Sincerely, I bless the day I found you, my queen and better half. I walk through life with nothing until you, until you, I knew no pleasure. And then one day God sent you to me, Jai Wadans, my wife, my treasure. Your kind of light will continue to shine brighter through Christ Jesus. Amen. From the depth of my heart, I love you. You are the original. Happy Sunday, Adams. Omo Jabi. Hey, I like show. Hey, the new ego. Olu Jula Kolabo. Hey, I like show. The new Jabi. Aromo She. Tinsele <laughs> Oh, <laughs> So, 
and then you lay that glasses, make it up. And you say it like, you know, see, sign with Adams, a long life, good health, prosperity, many more years of God's blessing. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Um, what we want to do now is to invite folks that have not had their meal to please uh, come to the uh, coffee table. It serves up. Uh, please, we have we have some sitting arrangements out there also. So please, because at a point in time, we are going to move. We are going to move some of these chairs out. We have sitting arrangements out there. Please. Yes. Oh, you by now. Well, while we are doing that, I want people that are getting their news. I'm going to invite people that want to take photographs with uh, the Sally Brand. Please do so right now. Mr. and Mrs. Ali, if you can please come. Ah. Yeah,
I'm 